music like Taylor Swift, One Direction. Oh, which one? Uh, north, South, East, or West? <laughs> one Direction. Shut the fuck out, Huckleberry. Not too much. You guys get a close now. I ain't touching you. How long do we have to be here? Uh, Tom Sawyer's getting on a goddamn. Bobby Joe Mason, real close though. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I'm yes. So we're gonna be doing like some. Uh, like combat training, like running through the mud and stuff like that. No, Pillsbury no boy. <laughs> His name's Jeremy. Real close now. <laughs> I'm about to beat Larry the Cable Guy for ass. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a joke that you use for a first time. I think it's partly true. <laughs> no, no, I apologize. I apologize. My bad. Please, gentlemen, we are now taking off. Please fasten your seatbelts. Oh, I you probably turn your cell phone off, too. <laughs> yeah, you no, need to turn that's a minute, guys. No, turn your cell phone off. Why? It's, 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 the signals can get here and interfere with the flat signals. And, and that, what does that do? <laughs> it's bad. Just turn We're your gonna phone off. You're going to die! You're going to kill us all because of your cell phone! Oh, You're going to kill us all! Just turn your phone off! Why? 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 I will put it on airplane mode. Jesus Christ! Oh, thanks. Oh, jeez. And 
water. Here's your uh, water. Oh, water. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh. Here's your water. I'm just going to wait. Are you all right? Oh, Please no! No! Oh, 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 These are my brand new pants! So That's what you're concerned about. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I just I think I need to use the brand new pants. Oh, wow. <laughs> she, she didn't look too good at all, did she? No. Wait, that was I didn't <laughs> If it wasn't a girl, then I need to stop in. She gave me some of <laughs> <laughs>
I know that many of you are torn on who you will be voting for on Tuesday, so I'd like to encourage you why you should cast your votes for the Republican Party. The Republican Party wants to build a nation based on wholesome, family-oriented ethics and values. Also, we are not Obama. Your senators and representatives will listen to your concerns and fight for your rights on Capitol Hill. Fun fact, they are also not Obama. Republicans have a plan to cut taxes and get millions of unemployed Americans back in the workforce. Furthermore, we are not Obama. Finally, Republicans will do away with disastrous health care laws, which were created by Obama, who we are not. When you step into that voter's booth on Tuesday and cast your ballot, remember to vote Republican because, hey, we're not Obama. Education election <coughs> debate. Um, I want to remind you all that the voting will take place next Tuesday at Jed's Shed. You will need all five forms of your identification, which include your driver's license, your social security card, your birth certificate, your death certificate, and a blood sample. <laughs> all right. I would now like to have the candidates introduce themselves and give a brief description of what their um, aims are, starting with the left. Hello, uh, I'm uh, Senator Bill Chair, and I'll be uh, running for uh, the school representative as to bring more revenue for our state. Uh, I find it more uh, immediate that we get more funds for the school and be able to get more money for the projects that we need to make this school a better place and uh, to do more things with the money that we have. Fascinating, Mr. Chair. Moving along. My name is Carl Kevin King Cade. That, that, that's Carl when he's K, don't worry. Um, and my purpose of uh, being here is to bring Jesus, the Lord and Savior, into the school and bring a little bit back to, to America. Because you know, Leviticus, all that nonsense. Inspiring, Mr. Kincaid. <laughs> Moving along. Um, my name is Elizabeth Longfellow. I believe in promoting a loving, peaceful, equal environment for our school children to grow up in. I want them to grow up feeling loved and nurtured. Next. Sean Tucker. I've been studying in political science for four years. I've also had various social networking meetings with school board representatives. Thank you, Mr. Tucker. I'm going to have to ask you a few questions. So. The rest of the committee can get a feel for you. First question. As a school board member, what would you do about marriage equality, starting with Mr. Chair? Um, well, seeing that marriage in itself, you have to get a certificate, of which you have to buy the certificate. I am all for gay marriage. The more that we can buy these, the more we can, more people we can allow to buy these certificates, the more revenue that we can create for this state. Also meaning more revenue for our very own school. Uh, some things like this should always be allowed. Uh, even uh, maybe, maybe some extra things that we can add on to the fees just for a special gay wedding for these people. Uh, and so yes, I am for gay marriage. Fascinating, Mr. Chair. Mr. Kincaid? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh. I believe in equality of marriage if you mean equality as in man and a woman. Because man and a man can't get married. God said no. So why would they be allowed to get married? I am for Jesus Christ. So I'm not a sinful person, which means I do not believe in gay people. They don't, they ain't real. They're sinful. <laughs> 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 Sir, I'm speaking. Thank you, Mr. Kincaid. Next question. <laughs> Moving on, Ms. Longfellow? I prefer homosexual couples to heterosexual couples. I feel that they love and nurture our children and show them how to be like loving and nurturing. This is the whole point. This is why I'm here, and I believe that heterosexual heterosexuals are lesser than homosexuals. You ain't one of the queer homosexuals, are you? How is that a professional term? We can move on. Thank you. <coughs> Love should have no discriminatory wall between homosexual or heterosexual. I am for both homosexual and heterosexuals to be married. Thank you, Mr. Kincaid. Moving on, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, 
Thank you. Next question. As a school board member, how would you handle the Ebola outbreak or a medical crisis like it? Mr. King King. Ebola is great. <laughs> <laughs> All it is is those sinful terrorists over in Africa being all <laughs> and like trying to hurt America. So of course God put his wrath down on them sinful Africans because they deserve it. It's just God's wow. wrath. Inspiring, Mr. Kinney. <laughs> the Ebola crisis is a serious situation and one that our school ourselves should be taking care of. We should be using our resources to the fullest of its, its amount. We should be putting our science departments to find the vaccination for this, for this Ebola and should be able to sell it and make more revenue for our very own school, of course. We should also be putting our home ec classes to make hazard suits also to sell sell or distribute the, them to the public for our safety these are the things that our school should be doing to take care of this ebola crisis <laughs> oh, oh, that was probably fascinating and well said mr chair um yeah, moving along, as a school board member, how would you handle the teaching of global warming, starting with Ms. Longfellow? I would let our students know that they need to recycle, recycle, recycle. Recycling is key. I would also put a greenhouse on top of every roof of every school, and that way we can grow our own vegetables for our vegan diet, and we can teach the children that they need to give back to the earth as much as they're taking from it. Thank you, Ms. Longfellow. Mr. Tucker. Switching to renewable fuels instead of fossil fuels, using things like wind power, solar power, and water power would increase our, would increase things and make things a lot better for us, and the ozone layer. Thank you, Mr. Tucker. Mr. Chair. Under the contract of 1899, we ourselves should be taking care of this energy, uh, of, of this energy crisis, and we should be lowering down on our electricity by looking at our dollar per kilowatt hour. As you could, as you all remember, the last 2009 I register, we we spent over 900 dollars on our electricity bill. <laughs> that is over budget. We should be cutting down our costs by ridding ourselves from a lot of these light bulbs and cutting down them to half of the light bulbs that we should that we should actually be using, and switch the light bulbs that we are actually using to the, the energy efficient light bulbs. Also, we should get rid of the pesky gas bill by switching our gas stoves to the new and refined electric stove. stoves. An electric stove works just as well. And now it's going to bake it with an electric stove. Oh, gas stove does the best. Electric Excuse me, sir. I'm talking. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Mr. Chair, <laughs> Mr. Chair I speak. I appreciate it. All right. Um, <clears throat> global warming ain't real. Let's just face that. Um, <laughs> you see, if global warming was real, it, it just ain't. I don't, I don't see how it could be real. I mean, let's look at it. Whenever you go to winter to summer, the globe gets warmer. Mm -hmm. So that's all that's happening. We're going from winter to summer. Warming. That's what global warming is. That's all it is. We're just getting it gets hot and so it's common knowledge. But if you're really scared, even though I mean polar bears and penguins are still up in North America North not North America, that's where we are. <laughs> the North Pole. Shoot. 
and uh, they're still there, so why we got to be worried? And if you're really worried, you know, just put a little ice rink over there, put a ice cooler there, and just open it up, spread out the coldness, so, you know, that's all we got to do. That is inspiring, Mr. Kinkini. <laughs> Next question. As a school board member, do you think children should be able to handle firearms, Mr. Tucker? Um, uh, excuse me. Is that a beer? <laughs> He's got a fan. Like, We're in a dry it. zone, like a dry I school mean? campus. I, I, okay, hold on. I understand it is a, it is a dry campus. Mr. Kincaid, you have to drink that as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, we have a serious problem here. Mr. Tucker. It's really hot in here. Mr. Tucker, according to debate etiquette, rule number 37A, it says exclusively that there are no fans allowed. I'm sorry, but you have broken you know, protocol, and I'm going to have to remove you from my debate. He just chugged a beer. <laughs> Rail term is shot. <laughs> 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 I mean, we can't get rid of liquors. They tried to do a prohibition, it didn't work. So, the etiquette says no fans. I'm sorry, Mr. Tucker, you have to leave. What do happen? These questions have to do with the child uh, the education system anyway. Uh, Mr. Tucker, you're making me very fearful for my life right now. Wow, what a danger! Whoa! Whoa! with my, my pistol, my shotgun, and the shotgun, sweet, and my rifle, what's wrong? What? All right. Uh, all right. Like AK-47. It's okay. Everybody calm down. Do you have your conceal and carry permit, Mr. Conceal? Well, of course. All right, it's completely Oh, oh, it's okay. Completely you know what? I'm leaving. Between Sandman over there putting me to sleep, KKK member over here about to knock his ass out, I'm leaving. Thank you, Mr. Tucker. All right, Mr. Kincaid, can you bring order back to this debate and express gun control for us all? This is for the children, huh? This is for the children. <laughs> all right. So, I'm just going to put this in the form of a hypothetical story. So say one of them queer homosexuals been be get beat up all day like he should be. Say he comes into school just fed up and he's got his little pistol, his like little toy. He walks in there, he's like, blah, 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 hey, blah, blah, blah. And my kid comes in with a shotgun and he's like, hold up, queer mo, go blah. And the story. Queer homosexuals clatter against the wall, we're all done. See, he just saved a lot of lives there. He is a hero. That is inspiring, Mr. Kinkin. <laughs> Truly inspiring. What I thought. It's hard to follow that up, but Miss Longfellow. <clears throat> I do not believe in the use of firearms. Of course, no. You're a woman. Women don't use guns. Oh, no offense. Oh, no, take. Oh, sorry, take. Firearms promote violence, and that's not what I'm trying to teach our teach our children. I'm trying to promote peace in a loving environment, and guns just are the opposite of that. Thank you, Ms. Longfellow. Mr. Chair. <laughs> it's your turn. I'm, I'm sorry, I just had cancer from a speech. Uh, what was the question? Yeah. Oh. As a school board member, do you think children should be able to handle firearms? Keep it brief, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we all know, the Second Amendment says that we can all have our very own guns, and you're pulling out another pillow. <laughs> but as we all know, there is an age limit to these guns, and is currently against the law for a 12-year-old to own and carry a rifle by itself. This okay, Mr. Chair, thank you so much. That has been fascinating. I'm going to move on to the most important question of the evening. <laughs> Great, you got to hear all this. All right, one. most important question: Who's going to win, Tennessee or Ole Miss? We'll start with you. Longfellow. Well, I'm a big volunteer fan, but I believe that they should trade the pigskin in for a ball made of recyclable materials. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying you can't use real pigskin. Let me guess, you're one of those like new age feminists that believe you can't use a, like the lamb intestines either for condoms. What? <laughs> I don't what? use condoms. I'm a lesbian. You don't practice safe sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if they do not trade the pigskin in for a ball that is made of recyclable materials, 
I will be cheering him on for my protest outside the stadium. Thank you, Ms. Montauk. Oh, Mr. King. Obviously, us Tennessee, we're going to win. Obviously. Inspiring, Mr. King. Mr. Chair. Well, until Tennessee can whip their team up into shape, I'm going to go with the old famous old miss. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. I don't think I understood what you responded. Do you want to restate that answer? We've lost for the fast five. <laughs> you were saying? Who's going to win, Mr. Chair? Take this off. Tennessee or Ole Miss? 